Hi children, good evening. Today, lesson number 6 of uh, history, organism, organization, de-organization. We are going to see page number 47, old and the new urban centers difference. Okay, here old urban centers means the centers made by sultans. Okay, new urban centers means the urban centers made by Britishers. We are going to see the differences today. So, they see the colonial towns. It were different from the early Indian towns. Okay, we know the twin. Then, uh, see that urban centers before the British. See the topic children. So, our Indian towns built by our kings and sultans were called walled cities because the fort, it uh, all the forts were enclosed within the fort walls. We know the twin. And those forts were surrounded by a deep moat. Deep Moat. See children, moat it means the water surrounds the between surrounds the wall. Okay, and the walls and the moats they were meant to protect the city from between from the enemies. Okay, and these four towns had darwashas, which means huge gates. So these gates were the entry points to the cities. Then the cities were divided into Tanas. Tanas means wards. Okay. And this wards furtherly divided into mohallas. Mohallas means neighborhoods. Okay, children. Then in the 18th century, the city of Delhi, it had 600 mohallas and 18 tanas. For example, they have given here Shah Jahanabad. It was a walled city. Okay. Built at the time of Shah Jahan. Okay, children. So, this city consisted of 14 entry points. How many entry points? 14 entry points. Then, a palace complex. That means Red Fort. Then, Asia's largest mosque, Jamma Masjid, located in the middle of the crowded Mohallas and Bazaars. Okay, children. Then, this city contained with what are the things it contained yes it contained gardens it gas it gas means public prayer halls dargas then chauk chauk means market and cloudy sacks cloudy sacks means dead dead streets okay these things are in shah jahana bath then another important feature of this city was havelis havelis means houses of the rich people okay children then these families comprised central courtyard with several rooms. Okay, children. Next, let us move to the topic administration in page number 48. So, administrative system of these urban areas were, uh, was very, very different when compared to the rural areas. So, in the village, Pansai system was followed already we knew. Okay, so the people called Kotwala, Tanadas, Mohaldas, Dargos. These people were the in charges of the towns. The armed watchmen were stood near to the fort's entry point. Now, let us see about new urban centers, children. So, see here the British they introduced a new architectural style. Okay, it was a blended thing of European culture and they borrowed the architectural style from medieval india style and ancient india style okay children and they built so many residential buildings called bungalows those bungalows were descended for nuclear families okay those bungalows were huge and single storied building with gardens verandas and windows he here, they had separate quarters for servants. Those servants can stay there permanently. Okay. And they constructed race course, golf course, and then clubs, gymnasium, and, and all those things were for Europeans friendly. Some influential Indians, that means rich Indians, were granted some Limited access only children. And Madras, it was divided into two parts. Okay. White town where the Britishers lived. Black town where the native people lived.
Next, let us step into the topic administration of the new urban centers children. Okay, here the Britishers they introduced a new form of administration. Here, Lord Cornwallis, he was the Governor General of India from 1786 to 93. He introduced a new code known as Cornwallis Code in the year of 1793. So, by this code, the district collectors they emerged as the important officials in the local administration. Okay, children. They in India, the oldest municipal corporation is Madras. It was created in the year 1687 by a royal charter. Charter means law issued by King James II of England. According to that, the municipality was in charge of public health, sanitation, lightning, sewage parks, and roads. Next, as per the Act of 26 of 1850, municipal government was responsible for administrating towns. So, the Municipal Improvement Act was introduced in the year 1864. According to that, the chairman of the municipality was the district magistrate. Then, this district magistrate was assisted by commissioners. Okay, children. Then, the commissioners were selected from the responsible popular residents of the city children. The source of this municipality were bazaar tax, road tax and tax on ferries. Ferish means ship. Then, Lord Dalhousie, he established PWD. PWD means, yes, Public Work Department. So, this Public Work Department was responsible for the construction of roads, bridges and canals. Then, the uh, road constructed by the Sultans, the Grand Trunk Road, was repaid by this PWD. The Grand Trunk Road linking Calcutta with Peshwar. Peshwar which is in now Pakistan. Okay children, then see the MCQ 49 page number. Yes, a new code of regulation known as the DAS code was introduced in 1793. Yes, by Lord Cornwallis. Okay children, then the old municipal corporation in India is in Madras. Okay, then let us move to the new topic, law and order. Here, Lord Cornwallis. This man established a regular Polish force to maintain the law and order, which comes under executive. Okay. Then the Indian Penal Code, it was framed in the year 1860 by Lord Macaulay. Okay. To list out the different categories of criminals. Then the next year, 1861, they had Indian Police Act with some changes. Then the new police department was headed by IG. Inspector General of Police. He was assisted by Deputy Inspector General. Then uh, the Assistant District Superintendent of Police. The Inspector, the Head Constable, the Surgeon, the Constables. Okay. Then a complete jail code was also prepared. Then next let us see about transport and communication. So here. Nowadays we have much and much of roads and roadways. Roots, rocky children. This was because of which means because of the Britishers. Okay, they realized the importance of cheap and easy means of transport to reach the new corners of the country. So that's why La Dalhousie he made a network of four main trunks lines to connect the interior parts of the country with major ports. So by 1869, okay, more than 4,000 miles of railway track had been laid. Then in the year 1906, the country had nearly 30,000 miles of railway track children. Now we have 1,15,000 kilometer of railway track. So, 1 mile equal to 1 kilometer, 609 kilometers. Okay. okay. Then let us see about postal and telegraph system. Okay. This system also introduced by La Dalhousie. Okay, the first telegraph line from Calcutta to Agra was inaugurated in the year 1853. Then, Lord Dalhousie, he introduced the usage of postage stamps. So, see here, Lord Dalhousie, he introduced so many welfare systems to India. Go to the book back page number 53 children. Show short answer question number 3, 4 and 5 we have finished. Okay, read and write 3, 4 and 5. Okay. Along with that, you need to write the long answer too. 
So see the long answer numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. What are the questions we have finished so far? Kindly read and write that. Thank you.